Welcome to Shark Cap Table. You have dialed in to the internet version. You can use the home all for free. You can use pitch for free, but it only gives you these 12 questions. And PMVM is fully functioning. All of this good stuff you get for free. However, let's go back to home because I want to encourage you to log in and get yourself a password. So I'm going to log in. There it is. Now, this is going to allow you to use pitch. And we'll talk about pitch in a moment, but it gives you a lot more things. It gives you video and a whole bunch of uh, questions that you can answer. Uh, and you can save the pitch. Likewise, when you go to home, we have a scenario dashboard. And let's get to home. Okay, so now let's um, let's just whip through what actually goes on here uh, in Shark Cap Table. Okay, you're going to make a deal. You're going to keep your arms and legs. You can name your company right here. There are four buttons which will tell you some useful things, especially how to use Shark Cap Table Mobile. We're going to structure your capital raise by entering red deal data using four sliders and one spin button to generate a cap table and a written investment summary. Now we're going to choose uh, Shark Investor or VC from the drop down below. We've got three. Let's um, let's choose Shark. It's more fun. Okay, let's hit the reset. It'll ask you if you want to reset. Just to prove it, we say yes. Now we're going to go in here, and by the way, these are sliders. You can either click on them. You can move them, or you can use your arrow key. Let's say we need to raise $700,000. Let's say we have a little bit of money, and I'm going to move it down to about $10,000. bucks. we have got $10,000 in the deal. No shark shares have been issued. We don't know what price because we have to do that in the pre-money. We have an arbitrary 100,000 shares. It makes no difference how many shares. It's all about percentages. And that calculates out to be 10 cent per share. Let's scroll down to the pre-money value. Now, pre-money value has a slider. And um, the bigger the pre-money, the better it is for the founders. You can see that when it goes the other way, the founders go from 41 back to 2.8%. So investors want to keep it at this end. We want to keep it at this end. Now, if you're working with very large pre-money values, we have a drop down which changes the range of this slider. Now it goes up to 5 million. And yes, you can guess that if we choose the 50 million, that it will go up to 50 million. The difference between the three is the incrementation. Let's stick with 5 million. Come down here and let's um, put a $700,000 pre-money value. Well, actually, let's make it about 800,000 or 900,000, 1 million. That creates a 4158 deal. Let's go down here to the brown, the enterprise exit value, and sure enough, let's sell this thing for an, an even $9 million. This is the amount the sharks get. This is the amount the founders get. This is the I multiple that each component gets. And here are the shark multiple, five to seven. It says that one shark nibbles and four circling. This really is not very exciting, but let's test it and see what happens with the internal rate of return. Now that's the time value of money. If you sell soon in year one, you've got a pretty darn good internal rate of return and the investors would be very happy to have that. But look what happens to the internal rate of return as we extend the exit date. Let's say we go to year six. Now we've got a 32%. Well, according to the red logic again, two sharks nibble and three circle. Just isn't very good. Here's a capitalization table. It takes your two components of ownership, sharks and founders, and it shows individually what the investment was, what the shares are, what the post money percentage ownership is, the I multiple, the investment multiple for each, and the internal rate of return. And again, we have this investment summary. This is a fully concatenated statement, which means that we're joining words and numbers into grammatically correct and investment banking styled speaking and writing. Now, let's come on down to the home dashboard, home scenario dashboard. You can read a little bit about it here. 
Uh, we have some help at the black headers. Now what happens here is that you can name it and then you can save it. And notice that, that when you're in the saving mode, it'll, by the way, it'll tell you data's been saved. When you're in the saving mode, it's green. Now let's say we want to recall the data for the King Cobra. Uh, these are all airplanes from World War II. We recall and notice, so it'll tell you it's got the data, that now it turns yellow. This button down here is the one that you can send all of your master scenarios to your login email and there are eight master scenarios and it, you receive the XLS file and you can do a lot of formatting and changing. There won't be any formulas but you can rearrange it and do whatever you like to with it. And of course down here we have this video which talks about the downloadable Excel version which costs 75 bucks. You can buy it by clicking here which brings it into your uh, PayPal. Uh, look, if you get if you get over your head, give us a, a, a buzz at uh, this email address because we're very experienced in structuring deals uh, and I know we can help you out. Uh, and we have a lot of nice friends that say nice things about us, so scroll down and read all this wonderful stuff. Thanks very much.